Hey Pisces, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections Reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. All right, let's see what do we have for you, Pisces, for this week. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. First card out, Nine of Pentacles. Single, beautiful, handsome, stable. All right, let's see. bottom of the deck we have the ace of cups new love new cycle new everything for the most part it could also be talking about healing healing of heartbreak healing of heartache heart pain and um, yeah the most beautiful thing is I see here for you Pisces is that well you're focused on your life, on your own stability, on what can make you happy, what can make you feel more fulfilled in the long run. Yeah. There's a commitment possibly that you are hoping for, that you have been hoping for, that, you know, you may not have gotten it until now. But you're pretty hopeful that at some point in time, that relationship, that person, that desire would come into some form of fruition, yeah. But above anything else, I see you um, being you. For the most part, this is a very single card, I see. Single, um, taking care of your own needs and wants, uh, or perhaps even focusing on the things that you desire personally, yeah. If you're not happy right now, at least the other aspects in your life, it seems to be, well, pretty good. Yeah, may not be very good in love, perhaps, but um, above all else, your own personal security and stability, you are handling that pretty well. Okay. There is a situation that... Um, you know, you may, you have undergone in the past. A cycle has ended. This could mean, you know, some form of betrayal. You may have felt betrayed, felt unattended. Um, or somebody may not have chosen you. Or somebody really has hurt you that has brought you into some form of rock bottom scenario. Yeah. And part of you possibly is still waiting for that. And part of you is still waiting for, waiting for that to, I don't know, some form of closure. Or some form of improvement um, but a part of you somehow you're also thinking about you know if you are if things have ended or if there is an end of a cycle with this with a person that you have in mind a part of you is also thinking possibly finding another route finding another path yeah because whatever you have had in the past has been very tumultuous yeah the heartbreak the difficulty not just drama for most of you this could also be like you know it's a very tra um, draining situation it's very draining because there's something that you truly desire and it feels like the carrot has been you know dangling of the carrot right in front of you so that's that's the energy i am getting and it feels like it's you're almost there but not quite and um it's just exhausting in that way you know the possibility the potential is being shown to you and yet you're not getting it you don't get to a full run full home run basically yeah and i feel that you're pretty much resting right now 
even though this has been very difficult for you, I find that you are trying to possibly ignore the situation every now and then just to give you peace, to give you some form of breathing space. Yeah, breathing space. Uh, you're fully invested in this in the past, but I do see that there is a bit of detachment coming from you from this situation. Yeah, and this could very well be talking about, you know, some level of acceptance um, to what is right now. Some level of acceptance to the current scenario. Yeah, no longer fantasizing about what could have been, but what you're seeing right now. But of course, there is also that side of you that is still pretty much hoping that things can be transformed. Things can, um, you know, that you feel like this is meant to be for you. So if it is meant to be, it shall come back in divine timing. You know, that sort of thing. It's almost like it's within your grasp and yet you can't really get hold of it. Now, the energy around you, the energy around you, Pisces, is by someone or of someone who may not be very um, open in terms of their emotions, not very expressive, but someone who possibly can still be talking to you if you approach them, if you reach out to them. This is someone who is open to talk, but not on a very deep level. Maybe just... Um, hi hello for those of you who are not communicating right now this is uh basically someone who may be you know checking you out online um trying to get information about you from a distance or indirectly let's just put it that way somebody who is trying to get information or keeping tabs on you but indirectly mm -hmm. It's somebody too who has feelings for you, but it's unexpressed. They are not expressing it to you. For some of you, I am getting that this is someone who may have shown you a bit of that emotional openness. And yet, it's like dangling of the carrots, like I said. It's, um, it is there, but they are not really fully giving in to you they show you that potential but they are not um investing fully into the connection and i feel that this person uh you know somehow this person is um wondering if there is a better way to address the situation that you have right now this ten of swords energy the ending the end of the cycle your person is pretty much thinking about what's the best way to to address this. Yeah, given that there could have been some emotional detachment, there is that end of a cycle. They still have feelings for you, and you, on the other hand, possibly have started to just lay low. You know, you are. I see your energy is very sort of passive. You are not. Um, courting you are not uh, pursuing anything towards or about the situation about this connection with them you're not really just doing anything right now you are just doing you and this person is is thinking about well, what uh, what other possibilities something is going on in this person's mind yeah they're thinking about um what they could do perhaps to express that feelings that they have or or just imagine somebody who has feelings for someone that they have already hurt somebody that they have rejected what do they do now yeah so they might not be able to talk to you directly due to you know not it's not very comfortable to do that for some reason and at the same time they are not really in a good position to to say anything right now especially if you have been rejected or they have betrayed you you know so that's the energy of that person somehow they may have detached from you there there must have been some distance here but i do see that this person somehow their energy is still very much cling to you you know they're still clinging on this um, connection but energetically 
they may not tell you about it but they are very there is this obsessive kind of energy or some negative or, or low vibing kind of energy in this person right now low vibing energy could also be similar to passive aggressiveness mm -hmm. where they have something that they feel they want there's something that they want to say but they're not expressing it and therefore there's there's no movement yeah there's no movement but you know what you have this emperor and empress here so somehow i feel that this person knows that with you whatever you have shared here is something that is um you know that potential for growth and ex um, expansion enhancement the forever thing there is that potential to be with you but at the same time um, this is someone who's taking things slow because like I said they have marred you they have wronged you and therefore it needs some time to heal you know the scar the scar that, that has been created this person knows that that needs some time to heal that's what I see Pisces and for, for some of you I feel that if you're connecting with someone new right now this is pretty good yeah it's another loving connection that is there is that potential you have the two of cups here there is that potential for for new loving relationship especially if you have a new love yeah or you're connecting with someone new right now i would say yes to that for you because it may not as of the moment you may feel like it's not similar to what you have left back then with the person that you have in mind but this could even be better yeah, because this is an energy of a new loving connection where you are connecting with someone that you can meet eye to eye. Yeah, that you can be on the same page. And somebody who is also willing to participate in a loving partnership with you. Yeah, and I do see that success, attention, progress is bound to happen in this connection too. Yeah. But this could only happen, Pisces, if you take time to heal. Yeah? If you take time to heal. For some of you, uh, you know, just for some of you, this could very well be talking about you finding your next true love or one, another new good love, loving connection, once you are fully healed from this deep, connection you have with someone in your mind right now yeah and you need to let go of that you need to let it go out of your mind out of your system before you can truly appreciate yeah and only then only then you can bring back that new queen of pentacles kind of energy into your life that you being in a connection that you can see yourself that you can see your value in that connection it feels like in this connection that you have right now we have the devil energy here this person may even have impacted the way you see yourself the way you see your value yeah you may even have questioned yourself basically being with this person that you may not be good enough but you know what's coming to you it's something that is it's something that is um beautiful because you see your value and then it is going to be a loving connection where the other person sees that value in you too, right? For some of you, this may not be applicable to all, but for some of you, um, there could be healing between you and the person that you're thinking about. And um, I mean, the current person that you're thinking about, primarily because like I said, there is that um, feelings that they still have for you, but they haven't expressed it yet. But what they truly want is, um, you know, a chance for both of you to start fresh. Yeah, so it's starting fresh and um, starting fresh and whatever you had in the past that really caused this Ten of Swords energy needs to be transformed. So it's not going to be a reconciliation and you, you do the same thing over again. It's more like it's either you let this go and go for the new energy or you can um, heal this relationship with someone. But when you reunite, it has to be a transformed type of relationship. 
it couldn't be similar to what it was before. Yeah, so that involves you letting this person know, you know, the things that you want in a relationship and see whether this person is capable of giving it. Yeah. That's what I see. It has to be either a new love or a transformed reconcilia reconciliation of and then transform it into like new type of dynamic with one another. Okay. And leave the past behind. I'm going to leave it at that and um, let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.